I've created a world with 817 nations scattered everywhere. It doesn't matter where they are from history. They might be modern day. They might be from like 3,000 years ago. And they're going to battle it out. It's going to be chaos. I know we've definitely never seen the United States this pack before. And uh, I, I just wanted to start them all off with like their capitals only. So it's going to be their job to colonize if they want like their territory back. They're going to have to go grab it. You can tell some of the more crazier parts of the map with uh, like Japan and uh, well... It's definitely Germany, the UK, Ireland. This, it's, yeah, that's going to be not fun. You don't want to be in that battle royale. It's definitely going to be one of those that's going to be really difficult to keep up with because we're going to be losing nations pretty much almost every day at one point. Australia is also going to be a pretty interesting continent because now for the first time there will be a little bit of a battle. Now, regular Australia is here, but there's also a whole lot of other nations that they're going to have to face, including a pretty terrifying one. Wow, doesn't get much scarier than that. Now, just because all the modern-day nations are here doesn't mean one is going to win because I think they're facing a lot more ancient nations and uh, there's probably a higher chance like they're going to come out on top. Wow, this is going to be so hard to find the very last country. I maybe put too many people in here. There's, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. Oh, why are these guys at the ends? What'd they do wrong? It's not right. And the UK is starting off in number one with 21 points. Don't know how that is. They have a good amount of prestige and a good economic score. Most of these actually in like the top 50 are familiar nations, so they might be okay. Oh, there's, there's daddy. I wonder if the natives are going to get a whole lot of revenge on the states. There's going to be a big bloody battle here. Literally one turn and this is what happened to the map because everyone's colonizing and it is so much more hideous than I thought it was going to be. Europe is already filled just like that. This might be the worst border gore we've ever seen, guys, just to throw that out there. Look at this Australia. There's just no way like Australia comes out on top. The emus though, the emus though. This is gonna make my eyes bleed, pretty sure. No one is dead, but West Virginia is now last. I think John Denver would like to have a word, just real quick. He is not gonna be happy about this. Oh, it's so bad! Please, I will make this stop! Really liking how Portugal has basically grabbed their own, like, borders back. They're, like, the only one that looks somewhat normal. So, I am a little worried for my computer at this point, because, uh, whenever those troops mobilize, Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to handle it. I guess it depends on how big of a coalition that might form or alliance. Surprisingly, China doesn't look all that crazy. I mean, if you've, if you've learned anything from their history, this is normal. Pretty sure this is normal. So on the surface, it looks like no state is doing that great. I'm seeing a lot of names that aren't really familiar to me. Oh, look at that. Ohm. Ohm is looking good. Oh, Ohm's looking really good. Turn 25 and France has now taken the lead. Uh, the UK has dropped to number seven. Hey, this world's been pretty peaceful though. I will say that because I think everyone's still around. Oh, now Wyoming's last or second to last. What is going on back up here? What's going on with the island? So the UK looks like, you know, they're going to maybe come out on top. Why, is, why do these guys look like they got the Swedish flag? Wait, what's the difference between Swedes and Sweden? This is like an ancient form of Sweden, I'm assuming. Uh, Norway with a, I don't, I don't even know, some sort of magic, magical trip. I don't know how they got here. Of course, the emus are now taking a lot of this part of Australia, whereas like regular Australia not looking quite as good. Arizona, South Dakota, Missouri, Oklahoma, maybe Florida. They, I mean, I can see them. They might be doing the best. Utah, Oregon, Idaho. Washington isn't even trying to play. They're trying to like, they're trying to escape. Spain is beginning to come out on top in Portugal or in Iberia. I mean, maybe they're going to be going out in, into Portugal soon, too. They look like they got a lot of troops here. Ooh, wait a second. Who, who wins this? Daddy or son? Daddy or son? Actually, Byzantium is here. Oh, that, that never mind. My bad. That is not... I, I got confused. The flags. Okay. Arizona was doing good, but I don't know. Pima now... Ooh, they're blasting through. They're blowing shit up. The Mapuche doing probably the best in South America. Ooh, but Chile's coming back for their old territory. I can't believe this, but Ohm... No! Okay, I thought for a second they wasn't, but Ohm... Might be doing the best in Europe and Hungary. Australia is gone. Austra Wait, is that Australia? Aust oh, no. Australia is still there. Just barely. The only place in this terrible, horrible world that looks normal is the Korean Peninsula. Almost normal. That's that's nice. Makes me at least feel good. That's a crazy comeback. Arizona, I think, just became maybe the favorite to win North America. South Carolina looks pretty good, too, though. Tennessee, Wisconsin. I mean, you don't know. Dongolia! I just found my new favorite nation because I be loving Dongolia. Oh, Dongola. Dongolia, whatever. No way! How is this gonna happen? First of all, the rematch of the century happening in Australia, but, uh, oh, it's BAM, and the battle's going down. You ain't gonna stop them. You ain't gonna, nope. There's, if this is like a Pokemon battle when you're fighting a uh, weak type Pokemon, like, the emus have always been better. They're super effective every move they have against the Australians. That's like one element I didn't get to focus on enough, is South America was super 
cool because I hadn't heard of like more than half of those nations that were popped into here. Serbia coming out in Eastern Europe. Now, can Bosnia maybe stop them? Mexico! Mexico's number two, song number one, Czech Republic. So this is going to flip back and forth, I think, really quickly because you never know who's going to come on top and like these conflicts is just too chaotic. I might have been wrong, like because these are zeros. There's a lot of nations with uh, zero points. That means they're dead. They've been dead for a long time. We're down to just 500 nations. So 300 got wiped out. How did Iran like colonize the Caspian? Like get across the Caspian Sea like that? Hey, Georgia, you might not be doing good in North America, but you still alive back in Asia. So uh, can't ever stop Georgia. They got two chances of winning. This is actually looking like a really like difficult spot for Spain to be in because they are just surrounded. You do not want to be. I mean, they might be the strongest in this peninsula, but I, I wouldn't want to do that. There hasn't been any progress at all made in Japan, it looks like, except for the Shiba Inus. I'm rooting for the Shib. I'm rooting for the Doges. You know they're powerful. Oh, oh, Alaska now crossing over to Asia. Never thought I'd see them do this. Australia might have slayed the beast. The beasts. Will they make up for all of the issues they had last time. And just like that, Alaska's been banished to Asia. So that's kind of what they get. Idaho actually came out here and did something to them. Arizona's still alive. Minnesota now resides in like the four corners area because that that's just what we're doing in this game. Reverse conquista, kind of. Although Morocco just a lot. Okay, now Sicily's, what is Sicily doing? I shouldn't have said anything. No way, the South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands, which comes from this little tiny place here, somehow made a landing and has this huge portion of South America. That is one of the most amazing things. Thank you. At least we have one man around here. I'm just very thankful for that. Hawaii, the greatest of nations, is still here and they are just chilling. I don't think they're doing anything actually. Oh my goodness. Almost missed this gem right here. Belgium is in Ireland and Belgium barely even exists in contents with Europe. They're actually moving right now. Pretty sure at this point Wisconsin is the last hope for the 50 states. Maybe Tennessee too. Maybe the US also, but I'm my money's on Mexico probably taking over the continent. Ah yes, and I see best Korea has survived. The worst Korea is gone as they as they normally go. Oh no! Please! Please just kill me! I don't want to live anymore! Okay, crisis averted. Uh, and we have maybe 150, maybe 100 nations left. Ming is now in Japan, so they took Korea, and they're doing a little reverse Japanese strategy. Japan probably really doesn't like that. This is regular Japan, and then all the other, like, warlords from back in the day. Australia has united the continent almost completely, and, uh, they have made up for their old ancestries, ancestries. Again, this is just a game. This is not real. This is so unrealistic. I know, I know. Is this a sign? Is this a sign? This is awkward, right? I don't know. Once again, they're just a big thorn. Big thorn on their side. There is no Sweden, but the Swedes are doing pretty fantastic up here. I don't know what the difference is. I should probably check it out. I am really in love with this little, like, colonial uh, sea empire that Sicily's made in the Mediterranean. Multiple territories all over the place. Somehow, Japan has still found a way to attack China, even though they are barely even a thing on their, like, home islands. I mean, they gotta do it. Loving this Central America, Central American Guatemala, who also has a tip of Baja California at the moment. India has been going nuts. Not only are they in, like, China, but they're now reaching out into the Arabian Peninsula. Is this Czech Republic? Yes, it is. And the Czech Republic is now in the British Isles. Dividing that up to, like, a south and... Oh, the UK's gone, huh? UK's gone. Gosh, North America looks terrible. So bad. It's so bad. Don't make the same mistake as Germany! Don't do it! I know you're this world's Germany, Czech Republic, but it's a bad idea. Don't do it. South Africa, I didn't even know existed, to be honest. Maybe they didn't for a long time, but they came back. Togo is the strong nation in Africa, and we've seen that before. What is up with Togo in this game? They do so good. Ming is still sprinkled all throughout Korea and Japan. Japan's not gonna be able to push him out. Oh, Tennessee is the new Mexico. Didn't think I'd ever say that. North America is now divided just between Wisconsin and the United States, by the way. Those are like the two major ones. Oh, Massachusetts is also still alive here, and uh, I believe they have, yep, they have Puerto Rico, so that's impressive. Belgium now taking over all of Ireland, just like cutting up through the middle there. Ooh, and they're taking over like Denmark, kind of? Look at Spain go back after imperializing Africa, all these different little spots. How dare they? How dare they? Japan pushed out the old Alaskan territory and then got this straight. All right, here we go. Top 10. Let's see who won. I don't even know what that nation... I've never seen that nation in my life. Is that a glitch in the Matrix? So we got QQ at number 9. US somehow made it number 8. Tanzania, 7. 6 is the Great Horde. Togo at number 5. They were controlling all of Africa at one point. I don't know what happened. Ming is the strongest China because Song fell apart. Spain, number 3. Czech Republic, 2. And India, Number one, India has come out on top. We started this nation, we started this game with 817 nations and they are now ending at number one. And they've like been in that dominant position basically for a while. Like no one has 
even began to stop them. They were doing a little bit better, but it's like a, it comes in waves. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months just to name him Drew. Stormtrooper 501. Luxembourg lover. Queen of Europe. Mac. Joe Dover. Jaden Knoll. Rat Smacker 3000. I'm the real 06. Aryan after hours. Pan Qualafs. Duh. Zyluki. Riley A. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Sefe. Ballin' Like Stalin. Tyler Beach. Belovsky. Clovin. Militime. Pizza. Maxi G. Swiss Argo. Elijah Senpai. And LPC.